بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله والصالحين وأشهد أن محمدا عبد الرسول السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته Welcome to another Real Problems Real Solutions Some of my clients say I have the brother saying man my wife is not really feminine she's not really a woman a lot of times the sisters say you know my man's not like my husband's not really a man I don't feel attracted to him I don't feel like he's he's a leader the issue of polarities why are why is it important and what does it mean and how does it affect marriage and, and Muslims in Islam Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created us on a fitra man is man woman is woman Allah says in the Quran man is not like the woman when we look at the seerah the Prophet said more, more so we find again specific gender roles specific identities for men and women they have shared traits but there are specific things and we're going to focus on those specific differences that polarize men and women yet attract each other because it is a problem and a lot of relationships based on my experience as a counselor fail because there is loss of interest there is no more attraction if you've reached this far in this video and you feel there's value please subscribe and hit that like button share and check out the descriptions the link so you can become a patreon for less than giving up a burger a month you can invest in dawah once a month you hear people saying oh why would these people even open up to you well if they don't open up to me they open up to dr phil type of or look alike want to be whatever Oprah of course they they need they need Muslim counselors and coaches and Alhamdulillah we are offering that we have a good team a lot of experience and we're offering that so they open up they need to talk they need to solve the problems Sahaba used to go to the Prophet وسلم, and open up Sahabas used to go to each other and get support but do we have support today is support that easily available well not within the Islamic sphere a man is a man a woman is a woman if we look at the agenda of today society especially Western approach they have targeted the family union even before its form so education is set up in such a way where the gender differences are reduced the narrative is that no we are the same no we can do the same thing no we should do the th same thing we should have equal opportunities even if it means that you should lower the standards in certain things because one of the two genders cannot perform due to what due to their fitra their natural disposition they're not meant to be like that so this action is taken it's affirmative action to lower standards so they can get in so they can prove a point that look we are the same we can do the same you'll have these shows where men are competing with women uh, what is it called lost or up there on an island or whatever i looked at that it was so interesting to see how poorly females perform in that survival environment that instinct driven environment for survival and I wasn't shocked but I was surprised at the reaction how they're trying to set it up and what the conclusion was because again women are not meant to do that and you would be vice versa equally shocked if a bunch of men and women would be competing for nurturing children for example or being nurses of course guys will get smashed because that's not their main uh, you know objective or the way they were created or to handle these things popular culture social media is targeting that we have to be the same it's almost like they're trying to create one gender and it's pushed through movies posts social media influencers what happens now do you see because it's fitra Allah created it so in such a way the system has to realign but it will realign incorrectly and subhanallah you will notice this 
and you can comment again. When a man is not a man anymore, properly, and he's not nurtured to be a man, his father doesn't teach him to be a man, his brother doesn't teach him to be a man, there's no more uh, education that's driven to instill in them those masculine traits, what will happen is there's an imbalance. The woman now, there's a vacuum. The woman now has to step in and she will step in and fill that vacuum. There has to be always a giver and a taker, a, a, a leader and a follower. That men are targeted to lose this control, this strength. And that in order to reduce that gap, a gender gap. There's a difference. Naturally, there's a difference. They want to bring it. So here's man, here's woman. They want to make it like that. At the age of 30, 35, up to 40, and of course, after that, it's just a lost cause, women start realizing that, my God, I messed up. Their internal clock ticks louder and louder, and they start hearing it. And they start saying, wait a second. I want to be a woman. I missed out. It's late. I'm not... F okay, it was fun to play men for a few years. I was deceived to think that this is my best position and he should be following me. Yet now, there's something missing. And it leads to depression, anxiety, many problems. It leads to a dysfunctional family. It leads to divorce. It leads to, a lot of times, couples breaking up, yet not knowing what's going on. Why are we arguing? Why can't we get along together? I can't wait to go to, go to work. Like, I don't want to be at home. I, I, I dread coming at home. Again, they don't know why. Why is this a problem? And I tell you, very, very simple. It's because you have corrupted your natural disposition. You're not a woman anymore, you're not a man. So you don't attract and you're gonna sh shift roles because the roles have to be there. There has to be someone taking those roles. Even if you look at gay couples, subhanAllah, look at this. You say, I like guys, I'm a gay man. But if you look and observe, there's always a feminine one and a masculine one. Lesbian, same thing, there's the butch. And then there's the feminine one. Because there has to be polarity. And that polarity is what makes things attractive. What keeps the spark between a man and a woman. And that polarity can only be achieved. And this is the solution here. By going back to the blueprint of Quran and Sunnah. Following, studying the life of the Sahaba for men. Men say, I don't know how to be a real man. Look, you need to have knowledge. If you don't know how to put an Ikea table together, you're going to open up the manual. You know what you want to do. Yes, you take opinion. Yes, you give options, but you are direct. And the woman will be attracted to you, will develop respect to you. Right now, women say, how can I respect my husband? He has nothing to be respected for. And in many cases, putting aside the women who are nagging and just have good men, but they cannot see it, but in many cases, they're right. But we need to go back. I'm going to go more in depth, inshallah, in other videos that are coming through in how to be a real man, a real woman. I've done also other ways. You can check the videos in my YouTube channel. And you can also book a personal development session with one of our coaches. We have seven coaches, extremely, extremely experienced. Check out the description and link for the coaching and counseling. And you could go on a journey to develop your masculinity as a man and your femininity as a woman. Barakallah feekum. And don't forget to check again the description. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.